so finally I'm back to Vietnam and after being in Canada for three weeks and in Malaysia for about a week I'm finally back in Vietnam so I'm very happy to receive my uh, VinFast VFA back from the service center uh, they took a while to replace all the hardware uh, apparently this car is one of the first batch of VinFast VFA and it does not come with the necessary hardware to run the driving assistance features the ADAS features so they call them so the car went back to the shop and they have to update the hardware they have to update the software and finally after TED I got this car back and now I'm in Vietnam I'm very very excited about testing the car so what we're gonna test is VinFast VFA's ability to go down the highway by itself basically following the lanes following the car in front of us and see how it does and frankly this is the first time I'm doing it I have to say I'm a little bit scared because you know in Vietnam people don't exactly follow the lines <laughs> this could go very badly in fact um, I don't I don't want to get into an accident because then uh, uh, you know it's gonna be in a video and people are gonna say I faked it or whatever I, I don't want to kill myself for sure and uh, we're just gonna see how the VinFast VFA does Tom Ping, love what you're doing on your channel, buddy. Super congrats, you know, giving your time and energy to nonprofit business channel. Look, man, keep driving that audience. So Tom Ping, look forward to spending some time with you. I know you got the right mindset, so I'd love for you to share some of that from the big V. God bless, be great, 10 x So I checked the firmware. So this car is running firmware FRS 8.7.6. So this is what we're testing on. A VinFast VFA running on a VinFast VFA running on version. Em có thể hỗ trợ anh chị điều khiển các tính năng trên xe và mang đến những trải nghiệm giải trí thú vị. I'm anh not, chị có thể nói, đặt not, nhạc, đọc tin tức, hay hỏi thời tiết hôm nay thế nào. I have no idea what you just said, but anyways, we're testing on version FRS 8.7.6. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> You know what would really be cool? You know, have like chat, GPT level of conversation with your car. That'll be cool. But I, I think that's in our future. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make more videos about that in the future. I'm not talking to you. Testing the driving assistance features uh, in the VFA is going to be challenging because in Vietnam, people don't follow traffic laws so strictly, you know, and the lines on the road, they're really just for reference. People don't actually stay in those lines. So, uh, you know what the real test of a car driving AI is? If you can build AI that drives in Vietnam, then that is super intelligence. That is, that is super AI intelligence, all right? And if, if we can do that, then humans would absolutely be extinct, right? Humans will absolutely be obsolete. All right, we're getting into position here. I can't wait to test the, uh, the driving assistance features. All right. The traffic condition right now is actually somewhat busy, so I would have picked a time where traffic is not as busy, but this is what we've been dealt with, so that's what we will do. All right, so I have to press this little button here and it will turn on the self-driving feature. My hands are off now. Oh shit, it's going really slow, so let's increase the speed. Let's uh, increase the top speed to, let's say, 50, okay? Or 55, or 60, or 65, or 66. Or how about 69, right? Top speed 69. I'm not touching the wheel. My foot is not on the pedal. The car is steering itself. Man, I'm sweating. I'm fucking scared right now. But actually, the VinFast VFA is doing a good job keeping itself in a lane. It's warning me that I have to put my hand on the wheel, which I'm doing right now. I'm gonna let go a little bit and then it's gonna warm me again. But it is actually following lane. 
currently the VinFast cannot switch lane because I tell it to. It will only go in the same lane. But let's try that anyway. If I go, I want to go, let's say, uh, left. Will it actually turn left for me? Oh, it did. It actually turned left for me. Or did, it, did I just turn off the feature? No, 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 no. Actually, when I turned left, the feature got turned off. So let's, let's turn the feature back on. Okay, the feature is not back on. So I cannot turn the turning signal. Otherwise, the feature will uh, actually turn itself off. So now the feature is on. And let's just increase the speed here. Let's go up to 80, 80 kilometers an hour. And I'm really not driving the car. I'm just touching the wheel because Otherwise, VinFast will complain a, a lot. Oh. Fuck, this thing fell off. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. See, I can actually fix that while the car drives itself. Oh, I gotta put my hand on the wheel. Okay, sure, I understand that. It's actually doing a great job staying in the lane. Can we go faster? It's actually keeping a really long distance uh, between the car in front of me and I will not drive like this. I will probably tailgate him, but uh, VinFast is keeping a long distance between me and uh, the car in front of me. Shit, is somebody honking at me? No. I'm not driving, okay? It's VinFast. Don't get angry at me, I'm not driving slow. It's been fast, okay? It's just trying to follow the car in front of us. Not bad, not bad, I have to say. I have to say, it actually, actually does this really, really well. So, uh, no car accident uh, video for you. And uh, I don't have to go to the hospital. And uh, it works. I would not try this on city roads here in Ho Chi Minh City. I don't think that would work very well, but on the highway, I think this works very, very well. I have to put my hand on the wheel. Yes, I know. Okay. So I can just, you know, sit here, drink my cafe da. Been away from uh, Vietnam for over a month and I miss my cafe da. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, so good. Touch my wheel. Mm. Somebody's peeing on the road, motherfucker. And <laughs> I don't know why. Like people like use like highways as public toilets. Oh, but I gotta put my hands on the wheel. Yes, I know, I know. All right. Yeah, it's doing a really good job. So we're going about 70 kilometers an hour following the car in front of us because that's how fast he's going and you, you hear another voice in the car and that's actually my uh, DVR which records the front and the back it's not part of Infast VFA it drives me nuts because it keeps on talking and it speaks Vietnamese shut up I don't understand you I, I, I know you want to tell me there's like camera in front of us but uh, but I don't give a shit shut up and there's no way to turn the, 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 the volume off, so so this is what I have to expose to every time I'm in the VFA. I say it's doing a marvelous job. It's doing a marvelous job following the lines. And, uh, you know, I, I set a really high speed limit, like I said, to 100 kilometers an hour but the car in front of me is not going very fast, so we're really only going 75 right now. I'm really happy I did this test. I mean, in my mind, I think the VFA VRU just went up by a lot. This is a technology product, right? And uh, I can't wait for other ADAS features, the driving assistance features to come out. I know there's many more. Today we're only testing this one. I can't wait to see the other self-driving features including like getting out of the parking space, getting into the parking space. I will test those things when they become available or maybe they're already available. I don't know. I just got back and uh, this is the one test I really want to do. And um, 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed. VinFast, good job. Good job. You know, you know, I complain a lot about the VinFast product in the past videos, mainly because there's been so many breakdowns. And uh, I know VinFast is working very hard in addressing these issues. And, you know, I, I'm very impressed, in fact, because, you know, VinFast is a very young company. They only started building cars a few years back. And now they have electric cars. They have a lineup of electric cars. And they're building high technology products. And it's not easy. It's not easy for a startup company need to go from nothing to have something right and, and for that I'm I, I have to say that I'm very very impressed and I'm very proud that VinFast is a company that can innovate and develop so fast even though I mean there's some quality issues we have to admit that there are some quality issues and uh, I believe with my heart that VinFast will address them quickly I know it's gonna probably take like six months to a year to get this car to uh, perfection and I believe it all happened and I'll be making more videos about the VF8 and the VF9 and the VF6 and the VF7 and the VF5 and I'm gonna buy all of those cars too right oh a, a bus just went into my lane and uh, the VF8 slows down uh, appropriately to keep the distance with the bus I think the car drives so well Take some fucking action, look into the driving assistance features of the VF8 and don't be a fucktard.